check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. daughter and I am here as a guest on her YouTube channel <laughs> today I am making makeshift miso soup come join me so you missed the first step because my mom was getting her camera <laughs> but you add the onions and this is I'm making it up so because you can do whatever you want because that would cook that's what cooking is you saute some onions, okay? Now I'm gonna go over here. I thought you were gonna go upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Now I'm gonna go over here. What you don't see in the frame is I'm gonna add rice noodles and gonna make them soft with hot water. So, so you can see, that's what I'm doing. It's like boiling, but but not. Okay, because you don't want them to be too soggy. So, I'm gonna do that. Let them sit for maybe five minutes. Okay, now my onions, they're nice and translucent. Okay, so I will add um, uh, some broth. So usually you will add, use um, like seafood stock, but, um, or I guess it's dashi, I actually don't know. <laughs> But I don't have any, so I'm gonna use instead some, just some chicken broth. Um, or you could use veggie broth, whichever you prefer. And I'm just gonna do the whole, the whole thing because it calls for four cups. And that's essentially what this is, four cups. So I do four cups here. Here's what the strained noodles look like, okay? Because I don't want them to get them too uh, mushy, okay? So, we're gonna increase this so we can maybe come to a boil a little bit, okay? Now, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over this way. Can you see it? So that you can see, watch me prepare the miso, the miso paste. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, let me open, so where's my thing? Okay. I think uh, I'm recording, so you're gonna need a tablespoon and miso paste. Um, you can use white or red. Um, I got white miso from the grocery store here. Um, We're gonna want to use about three tablespoons of that, so we we'll just go in here. And I actually want a knife. All right, well, I don't have a knife, so I'll use a spoon. Just to make sure I don't I don't have like too much of a heaping so, situation. So we're gonna do one, one of these, one second. It's hard when you, Gonna do one of this, one of those. Just make sure it comes off. Okay, one and <clears throat> sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Sometimes 
The one I had been in Atlanta is reduced sodium. Okay, that's about a tablespoon. So we need two here. Two and then obviously I got some some stragglers. Two. So I'll do like two, maybe three really good ones. So let's do three. Yeah, that's great. Because it says three to four. I'm just going to do three. I don't want it to be too much sodium or too miso forward, I guess. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Alright. So we're good there. I'm going to put this here. And I'm just going to make sure we get the rest of it. Wait, my hands are clean. Okie dokie. So I'm going to rinse my fingers. Get the lemons off. Add it to the miso just to um, whisk it down so that it doesn't clump up. And I'm just going to check on my broth over here. We're doing great. Okay, okay. So I'm going to grab this and what I want to do is just mix it together with the whisk so it becomes a smooth consistency. Consistency. I'm gonna put it in the corner there. There we go. Get all the clumps out. Okay, we're doing great. Nice and smooth it's looking. Looking nice and smooth. Love it. Love to see it. Okay. I'm just going to add just a little bit more, just to make it a little bit more watery. Um, so that might have been a little too much, but hey, it's going to go in water anyway, so it'll make it coming out of this, um, make it coming out of the bowl easy. Alright, so we have a good miso mixture here. Very good. Very good. Okay. That feels like a great consistency to me. All right, so now we're going to go back over here now that we have that and check out, let's see, it's a good, there we go, check out what we're doing here. So in my chopping board, I have a lot of different things that I prepared and you can have fun with it. Add really whatever you want um, to the situation. I don't know if you can really see what's going on there. Let me try and fix that, okay? Is that good view or no? I don't know. Okay, that's good enough. So you can really add whatever you want. I'm going to add um, some chard. I usually like to do some rainbow chard, but um, didn't have any. so. Um, or they didn't have any nice ones at the grocery store, so I just write regular green chard. So get some good vegetables, um, some hearty, hearty greens. Um, add that in. I, I like to add a lot. You really don't need this much, um, these many greens, but I just like to have um, a good dose of, of the vitamins and all the, the good nutrients and whatnot. Okie dokie. So that is that. You add that in there, just do a little stir situation. And because I added so much greens, I might just add some more um, water just to extend its life a little bit. It might make the flavor a little bit reduced, but that's okay. So we'll let the, those guys get a little green. There. It's nice. Scallion, whatever you like to call it, chop that up, 
add that in there. I don't know why I'm being so kind of meticulous with it, but that's what we're doing. And then I'm gonna do the uh, mushrooms as last because they cook so quickly. And I, I clearly did a lot of green onion, I think about maybe like two, three stalks, whatever they're called. Alright, just mix that in there. Okay, so we want to cook that for maybe five or so minutes. Um, we'll check back in to see how that's doing. And after the five minutes, then we're going to add in some seaweed. What I did is I had a sheet of seaweed and I just folded it so I could get little uh, folded it so I could get little rectangles. And what I'm gonna do is just um, kind of tear them apart um, along the edges of the fold so that it can be kind of their individual sizes. So as I wait. set there. Everything is kind of simmering at its own pace. Alright, I'm just gonna throw that on there. Let it do its thing. And now we wait. Alright, as I wait, I'm gonna put away this other stuff. I'll pause so Mama doesn't have to... Okay, so we're back. We had a little bit of uh, just steaming, steaming going. Good, 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 good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in these kind of seaweed, seaweed things that I folded up to a, or let that kind of soak in, soak in throughout. Uh, I'm gonna be on top of each other, but that's kind of what's happened here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the mushrooms on top, just so they. So I'm gonna go ahead 